Oh, there you are, YouTube. Yep. Number 17. Poltergeist. We're watching Poltergeist. All right. Woohoo. When was the last time you watched this? Um, at least 10 years ago. You excited? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Tracy, what was it like to watch Poltergeist 10 years later? Okay, I honestly felt like it was true art. I loved it more than I've ever loved it before. Ooh. I've had a bigger crush on Jo Beth Williams right now than I ever have before. Same, I thought she was this old woman. Oh, Jo Beth. Jo Beth. That's, is that the mom? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I thought she was this old woman when I was a kid, and now I. And then you find out. Now she's I'm in got love with her. This perfect face, this fair faucet hair. You don't want to change a thing. Nothing. But you grew up watching this movie a lot, right? Yeah, I saw it a few times. Yeah. And I loved it. This is it time. is it your like first horror movie? You think? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might be mine. It's near. The first, anyway, there was a movie called The Gate that I remember. Nobody else from From when I was really young. Oh. Yeah, I don't know how big that movie is. Heaven's Gate? No, just Gate. <laughs> with, um, uh, gosh, what's his name? He played Frost in Blade, if you've seen Blade. What is that guy's name? What's that movie with, um, Coppola directed that you don't like? Outsiders. Somewhere. Somewhere. What's that, what's that actor's name? Swayze. Steven Dorf. Oh. It's little child Steven Dorf. Mm. Yeah, mm. and that one might be my first horror movie. Yeah. I got a, I mean, I don't know. I have like a few that I remember, and it's just whichever one I watched first is the first one. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were you doing that the whole time? That I remember, and it's just whichever one I watched first is the first one. <laughs> For a little bit. <laughs> <sighs> I was hoping to hide it from you and you wouldn't see it till you were editing it. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's good. How, how recently have you seen The Gate? Not since I was little. Oh, That's sorry. one I need to add. I actually had to search for it. I had to wait till the internet to find out what it was because I remembered certain scenes from it all through childhood. And I probably haven't watched it since preschool age what preschoolers well not not movies? well well it's kind of like <laughs> a, it's like a during nap time <laughs> <laughs> no it's like for kids but also you know 80s kids were doing other things i mean i'm not an 80s coke. kid i'm a 90s kid oh. but you know <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> we were doing coca-cola um but i had to wait till the internet and i just like <laughs> I searched up like <laughs> images, not images, like I described the images that I remembered, mm -hmm. like eyeball in hand getting stabbed. Uh -huh. And then that's how I found that movie, like rocket ship. I remember there was like a rocket mm -hmm. ship or something like that. And I just mm -hmm. typed all this in and then that's how I found it. Yeah. Do you remember hotornot.com? Yeah. I think I was on there. <laughs> it was before Facebook. Yeah. Do you remember the picture you uploaded? You, you remember me? <laughs> You found me no. on there? I'm just asking you. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I posted a lot because I wasn't doing so hot on there. So I was trying to find the one to score the highest. I guess I'm not. <laughs> I, I posted like four or five. <laughs> I guess I'm not hot. I think my oh long... My God. Do you think Mark Zuckerberg was on there? And that's how he got the idea for Facebook. Yeah. I bet he, he was on there. He was on there. I always thought my long hair did me a he, disservice. He got a lot of knots marked Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, they swiped. Well, that wasn't it. There's no swiping. It was, it was clicking. Swipe or no swiping. Yeah. <laughs> Dora? <laughs> oh. Um, there was something really important I was going to say about... About Poltergeist. Oh. Have you seen any of the sequels? Yes, something about... I remember watching it in my friend's basement with one of the popular boys in our high school. Yeah. 
and one of the one of the lines in the movie was nipping someone in the nipping something in the bud. Right. And he's like, "Why didn't they just say butt? Why wouldn't they say butt?" And I'm like, "Because the expression is nip it in the bud." Is it referring to like a plant? <laughs> the bud of a plant? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I thought he was kind of dumb after that. Do you know if that was the second one or third one? Uh, it was something like, is there a high rise or a hotel? I or think that's a... the third one. Okay. The second one, because I've seen the second one, again, very little. And this, the second one was a movie that traumatized me. Okay. Just like Pet Cemetery mm. and um, Fire in the Sky. Gage. Like, there was a guy with, like, sunken in dark eyes, very scary looking, who just, like, kept coming to the house. Mm. And it was freaky. There was also, like, a tequila worm that came to life. That I always remembered, so I don't necessarily know if that traumatized me. Like, I didn't black it out like I did other things and then find them later. Do you drink tequila now? If there were a worm in it? Did I do that? Yeah, yeah, I did that once. (laughs) Did I? I did do that once. (laughs) Okay, gate... The gate. Gate. Yeah. The gate. The gate. You have to watch that now. Yeah. One of the best things is to see if your childhood movie holds up. If it does, it's the greatest feeling in the world. And if it doesn't, you think, why did I like Willow so much? Well, I was going to say Willow's my example. Or have you heard me say that? No. Yeah. I was just saying that. Willow did that to me. I watched Mark it again and I in college. watched it recently and we were like, this seems racist. Well, and it was just kind of like corny. Bad. Like you like it as a kid because it's for children, and then right. you watch it as an adult, and you're like, I got yeah. other things to do. It had a real um, uh, Ewok situation. Yeah. Where it's like, as a kid, you're loving Return of the Jedi. Yes. And then as an adult, you're like, mm. But it's really just that part because everything with the Emperor and Luke, so strong and dark. Right? You're not buying it? was I was just taking a big drink <laughs> while you were talking <laughs> so, and I cheapened it <laughs> I really cheapened it yeah um yeah I mean the emperor he was really carrying a torch for Luke for a long time yeah um just... so yeah pretty dark pretty dark I mean imagine if someone older than your dad was like his mission was to turn you evil <laughs> <laughs> After he already turned your dad evil. Right. I mean, lay that... off me. Get out of here, old man. Lay off me, I'm starving. <laughs> <sighs> That's a good Chris Varley. As Linda Tripp. <laughs> You're gonna have to cut so much of this. <laughs> <sighs> I just love the way he moves and that like blew off me. Doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Something about the fries. <laughs> <sighs> That's good. Oh my god. Yeah, so poltergeist A plus. A plus. Like you said, it is art. art. Fantastic yeah. art. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if I should do my outro now or do it later. (laughs) Well, you have to leave this. Okay, I'll do the outro later. I'll see you tomorrow for more pure hangout. Now you gotta lift your eyebrow. Here you go. But also, I might be lying because I'm not Derek. <laughs> <laughs>